exhibition is kind of half a spoof on the commercialism on someone who's actually really fucking crap but endearing yeah. and the other half of it is saying that basically Tracy Emin is the art equivalent of Jade Goody. Nice. So, so this little thing here, obviously this is a little spoof on the fact that Tracy, Tracy's kind of like trademark thing has been, she tries to capitalise on the fact she's supposed to be thick, which she isn't. And she loves to kind of use this dyslexia lures okay or dyslexia rules okay, whatever. And she has this fucking twisted little habit of spelling things badly. And thinks it's really cool, dog it's fucking rubbish. And so she's done, you know, she does this okay thing. So like one day I was sort of fuck me, you know. If I was Tracy Emin, I think I would panic and I would probably have one sweaty dream and think, oh my god, I am not an international art superstar. I am the equivalent of Jade Goody. So that was the inspiration for this piece. This one is quite obvious. The, the little bird is a copy um, which I did of a Tracy Emin drawing which was portrait of the artist as a small bird. In fact, no, I've got that wrong. Self-portrait as a small bird. So obviously I, it was just, I just couldn't resist to recreate the picture with a fucking sniper scope on it. Because I think, see the thing is normally there's no way that I would slag another artist off for the sake of slagging them off. But Tracy Emin's art is all about herself. Therefore, I think she's a fair target and she's opened this kind of criticism, hence the target and the self-portrait of the little bird. It's for itself, really. It's kind of, uh, it's just a little bit of fun. Um, Magic Roundabout is one of Tracy Emin's favourite things in the world, apparently. She has ten things sacred to her and uh, Magic Roundabout is one of them. And when I read about this, I just couldn't uh, resist taking the piss, I suppose. And uh, this one it says, well, it's, it's called What the Papers Say, and it's basically, I looked up on the internet, and I just did a quick synopsis of all the derogative things that were written about her. And then I realised that it was actually quite a negative. And somebody did actually say, is she a genius or a con artist? So in a moment of weakness, I added the or con art, genius or con artist. Originally, it was just horrible spewing everything just slept off. And this isn't a personal thing. These are all words that have been written by journalists describing her. And I think there's about, there's about at least four descriptions there that come from the lovely, wonderful Brian Sewell, who I used to think was a complete cunt until he slagged Tracy off, and now I love him and I want his children. Fun speaks for itself. It's called Dick Tracy because... She's not a cunt, she's a fucking cock. So there you go. Tracy, I mean, with a big strap on. And the and Dick Tracy from the 50s was had an immaculate raincoat. Here she's wearing a dirty, dishevelled, sort of wanker's mac that people fucking wear that go to triple X cinemas and pull their plonker all day long. So the whole thing is about self-masturbation and basically because Tracy Emin's art is completely all about her fucking self, this one here is a little spoof on um, the fact that she's dyslexic and she thinks that just by picking various words that she's a fucking poet, throws a few cut out letters down, gets a mum to stitch them up and it's a work of art. And because she did this hideous picture of a pair of tampons stained in her own menstrual blood and thought the valid title was my cunt is wet with fear, which means absolutely fucking nothing. Um, I did this Emin's alphabet spaghetti well, you can imagine, sort of, if this thing existed, you'd just throw the fucking spaghetti out onto a plate with Tracy's menstrual sauce in it, and every serving is an art piece, which is more or less sums it up. This piece, which is probably instantly recognisable, is a pastiche of uh, Salvador Dali's portrait of Picasso. And most people thought, because Dali was, was a complete reverential fucking worship, Picasso even saw Picasso as his real father in his dreams but when he did this painting of Picasso not this particular one but one this is based on he was actually doing it not in honor of Picasso but it was at the point when Dali had decided that he himself was the savior of modern art and Picasso was now the destroyer of modern art and so what I've done is I've messed around with his image put Tracy's head on it and said that more or less that Tracy in herself is a is a destroyer of modern art to a degree, um, and that her greatest gift 
really is or was Joplin and the White Cube, which is why instead of the mandolin and the spoon, she actually has a little white cube with a ribbon around it. But this is a, this this is just a just a joking little piece. Um, it harks back to the fact that um, when Tracy first started off, she had a shop with uh, Sarah Lucas called Shop, and she was selling uh, ashtrays with David Hurst on the bottom of it, and uh, it's a little bit of fun. Tracy did a whole series of um, pictures called Something's Wrong. Um, she sewed it on blankets, she did a picture of herself with money coming out of her cunt and all sorts of stuff. And I actually discovered that Tracy, although generally kind of is a bit odd looking, one side of her face is very attractive and the other side is a bit fucked. Um, so I flipped the two fucks based on it. I particularly love the little weird goatee bird myself, I think. But it's basically, I was at Glastonbury one year when it was completely flooded and I just had this image of Tracy's tent being there in the middle of all this shit. And, uh, and I just happened to see this floating bed. I just thought this is too good to be true. So I had to put Tracy's tent in with the floating bed. And um, I think it speaks for itself really, doesn't it? This is another little spoof thing, I suppose, really, on the fact that our personality is very similar to uh, Jade Goody's. And Jade Goody had a perfume out. You're familiar with that, that, that wonderful play, or that wonderful um, show called The Vagina Monologues. And I was kind of thinking about this thing about women talking about their fannies and stuff like that, and I just had this silly idea um, about two bumholes talking about Tracy Emin. Um, it's a fucking lump of cheese, isn't it? It's a bit of Emmental, and, um, and I think she's very cheesy. I hope you liked it. Thank you very much for coming. I'm going to get really shit-faced now, and I'm going to have a wank, but I'm not going to think of Tracy in a minute. <laughs>